From the campus studios of Sarlan University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hi, welcome to Ropecast. I'm Peter Tischer. A while ago, we recommended four learners' dictionaries to you. They were from Cambridge, Longman, Macmillan, and Oxford. And the other day, I got a brochure on my desk with yet another learners' dictionary called the Collins Co-built Advanced Dictionary, or CCA. And I thought it would be a good idea to ask Roger about it. Hello, Roger. Is this the fifth one we should recommend? Hello, Peter. Yes, I think we can recommend it, and I think we should recommend it. There are some big advantages. Tell me about it, or tell the listeners about it. Yeah. There has been a co-build learner's dictionary for a long time, mm -hmm. and I didn't mention it last time around because it was in desperate need of overhaul. Uh -huh. And they've done it. They've produced something that is, well, it's like a new dictionary. It's like a fresh start. Yeah, this is a 2009 publication, Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. It's very, very impressive. As a book, I really have no, no quarrels with it. Mm -hmm. One or two reservations about the disc that comes with the book, but let's leave okay. that for the moment. What are the advantages? What did they do to it to make you recommend it now? Well, first of all, it's a very, very modern-looking book, so it's a pleasure to use. Mm -hmm. it's, it makes very good use of color, and they have things that they call word webs, mm -hmm. which uh, brings together vocabulary covering a certain topic, and they have neat little texts and illustrative material that really helps you to understand. Even a native speaker can learn sometimes from uh -huh. these things, like um, the greenhouse effect. And we've uh -huh. all heard of this, I think. Yeah. Global warming. Uh -huh. But you know, what exactly are the connections here? Temperature, global warming, carbon dioxide, other gases, water vapor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. These are all together in a neat little package in the dictionary. Uh -huh. In a little box. Yes, exactly. With an illustration. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, there were other things. Wait, here's in my, my little brochure that I thought interesting. Well, let's talk about the, the, the CD-ROM. There's a thing like word bank that they advertise. You know anything about that? Yeah, this too helps the learner to build vocabulary in, in, in certain areas. Ah, so, okay. So, you know, you can work on it. Maybe something that is related to your studies or your For example, job. let's say law. Exactly, yeah. And so on this disk you would find a word bank on law, legal terminology. I think even more important, thinking about banks, yeah. uh, buying the dictionary also gets you a PIN, one of these identification numbers. Personal identification and number. With, and yeah. with that, you have access via the internet to a thing called the Bank of English. Yeah, it says here, Kobild comes Zugangscode in German. Oh, this is <laughs> <a> German. Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, no access code. Uh, well, what will that do to me? This, this brochure talks about 645 million words of the English language. What do, what do they mean by that? Well, this is a corpus. That yeah. means it's a collection of texts. That's spoken English, written English, all modern material. Uh -huh. And by buying the dictionary, you also get access to the whole of this corpus at no extra cost, which is a pretty good deal. And, and this is sort of a little sticker that's in the back of the book, right? Yeah. That you, you just peel off a little sticker, and there's your PIN. There's your access code. Ah, and then you just go on the internet and, exactly. and access it. And you can do your own research. If you're not sure how a word is used, mm -hmm. have a look in the corpus. Okay. This is also reassuring for native speakers. You know, you can see how other native speakers use the word and think, aha, maybe I'm just a little off center with my use of that word. Okay. Quickly, one disadvantage that uh, the disadvantages you mentioned. Yeah, I think a lot of learners around the world probably are kind of interested in either US English, North American English, or some other kind of English that's a variant of that or based on that. And this dictionary seems to me to be a little bit UK oriented, uh -huh. at least when it comes to pronunciation. Okay, that would be a disadvantage for me, <laughs> yeah. for example. You can listen to perfect British pronunciation of words and phrases, but not US. Okay, that's a little bummer. 
But other than that, looks fine. Yeah, you've got frequency information, uh -huh. you know, which are the really important words. You've got lots of help with synonyms, antonyms. Mm -hmm. you, you've got these word partnerships, they call, that's collocations, which mm -hmm. word typically are used with which. Mm -hmm. uh, you have, of course, the usual pictures, etc. Mm -hmm. You have usage notes. You have really just about everything you could want from a dictionary. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so, folks, if you have uh, around about 35 euros in your pocket and you don't know what to do with it, then the Collins Co-built Advanced Dictionary may be an idea to spend it on. Bye for now. Listen to us next week or the week after that when we will publish our next podcast. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast. Brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial. <laughs>